So this week in Switzerland, vaccinations are happening, but not quite on the level that they are happening elsewhere in Europe. For example, just 170,000 people have actually received at least one dose of the vaccination so far here in Switzerland. And that's according to the BAG this Friday. And that's not even half of the nearly half a million doses that are already here in the country waiting, waiting to be given out. Um, it comes as schools in Zurich and Solothurn actually tighten measures for coronavirus. Younger children are being asked to wear masks in class and during sport and swimming lessons for fourth graders and above have now been cancelled. Meanwhile, the FFP2 masks that's the uh, surgical mask and the equivalent, they are being uh, forced to be worn in flights, on Lufthansa flights uh, into and out of Germany. Now, in business news this week, the Federal Council wants to privatise uh, post finance. Why? Well, negative interest rates are affecting banks across the board. Uh, post finance is no different, but in order to bring in more cash, the idea is to provide mortgages and loans. But under current rules, uh, credit is a no go for post finance, so privatisation is one solution. It's a controversial idea. Part privatisation has been suggested before. Unions have reacted sharply to this idea, according to the NZZ, and the path to privatisation is far from easy. In other news, as many as a thousand jobs could go in the Sunrise UPC merger. Uh, that's according to estimates by the Tagus Anzeiger this week. The second largest telecommunications company is planning a major downsizing, but staff should know more by the end of June. And just to wrap things up, movies are on the move as well. They've already been pushed back because of coronavirus, while well, another raft of movie releases have been pushed back again, including the much anticipated James Bond, No Time to Die, which means with its release in October 2021, it will be almost 15 years exactly since Daniel Craig's first movie or first James Bond movie, Casino Royale, came out.